here's how to return orders on Amazon. So when you want to go return something, you need to get to your order history. I left a shortcut link in the description down below. It'll take you right there. Then you can navigate through and find the order that you want to return, or you can even search orders. I'm going to search for caster, and here they are right here. And then I can go to view order details or view your item. Uh, that should take you to the same place. It might not, but view order details will be where we want to go. After I'm in the order details, on the right-hand side, we're going to see return or replace item. So we're going to click on that to begin the return process. Now, we have to go through a few steps with Amazon. So you just have to choose your response of why you're returning it. Most of the time, it's, I no longer need this. So I click no longer needed. Um, it asks you whether or not the packaging has been opened or if you've use the product at all. Just answer honestly here. All it does is categorize it for Amazon so that they can send it to the proper center for returns or proper area. And so in this case, I would say maybe the, pa the package is not opened. And so then tell us about anything that didn't meet your expectations. I might just say no longer needed, right? Um, you know, maybe nothing didn't meet my expectations. I just didn't need this one. Then we click continue. And you can see how long it's return eligible as well. And could I clarify if there's any issues? No issues. And then I hit continue. So you might just have to answer a few questions there with Amazon. Now they ask a few more things about like, hey, maybe you just want some product support. All you have to do is continue to your return options down here below it. And then you decide how you want to get your money back. Do you want to refund your Amazon account balance or do you just want to refund your card, for instance? In this case, I'll go ahead and say refund to my card. Now that'll take a little bit longer to do, but you know, sometimes I don't want the dollars to go back to my Amazon account balance. I want it to go back to my card. And then I hit continue one more time. And here on this next page, we're gonna see a breakdown of everything that's happening with this return. And we're gonna be able to choose where we want to return it. Whole Foods, Drop-Off, Staples, Kohl's, and you can actually click five other return options here for this particular item. And we can see that I can actually drop this off also at the UPS store. And once I select that, I'll need to select a drop-off location. You can actually take it to any location, but it just has you pick the closest one. So I selected the store that I want to drop this off at, and then we see our refund subtotal and basically our return summary here on the right-hand side. And after that, you would click confirm your return. Now it says here, the UPS store will pack, label, and ship my return. So I literally just have to bring in the item. Some items are different. Some you'll need a box for. Some you'll need to actually pack and print a, um, a label and actually attach it to the package. But all in all, um, you know, either way, you're going to hit that confirm your return button. You'll get a QR code. They scan it at the UPS store or wherever you're returning this, whether it's Whole Foods, Kohl's, anything like that, uh, you know, to select your free return. And that's how you can return orders on Amazon.